Hi, this is Aaron with TheRuggestDoor.com. Giving you a little closer look at the CF20 Panasonic Tough Book. Uh, we weren't able to show kind of close up and personal in the other video, so a few things that I wanted to focus on and make sure I make a note of. First thing I really want to note is the docking connector, and you see that at the bottom of the video. Um, Panasonic really has worked to design a very durable docking connector between the tablet and the um, keyboard. And so uh, I want to show that off a little bit, and it's right here. You have a release, you have a lock, so if you wanted to lock it in place, you actually just flip that up. It's locked. It won't be able to be released. This release mechanism doesn't work. Unlocked, you kind of see just a warning with a little orange strip showing that the release mechanism is ready to be released. Now, one thing between docking the tablet into the keyboard is the CF20 has the option to go, and you can set it in your settings, between the... Uh, tablet mode and laptop mode. So right now you see it in laptop mode. It has icons just like your regular desktop and it is ready to be functioning as a laptop. When I'm ready to undock it into a tablet, I can set it to go into tablet mode with larger buttons and easier uh, touch uh, functionality. Now one thing that I wanna show before undocking, if you had things utilizing these USB ports on the keyboard, and they're plugged in, as soon as you undock that, that count the computer part counts that that is undocking the USB from the computer. Now, if you had uh, data on that USB, like I'm sure no one does, you're supposed to unsa or safely undock that USB. Now, as a matter of convenience, if everyone just kind of pulls that USB out and they just kind of hope for the best, but you do run the risk of corrupting that data. Before you undock that tablet and you have something plugged in, I strongly suggest you safely undock it. And you do that by pressing F function and one, I believe. Okay, so you'll see that pop up, it says undock is complete, it's finished undocking the computer, you can now remove the computer from the keyboard base. Now that counts as safely undocking any USB that was hooked up to the keyboard. So now um, you can see that I have it set to automatically pop into tablet mode. You can keep it in laptop mode if you prefer, but I have it set to automatically pop into this so that you have just larger icons, your, um, just your tablet becomes a just tablet version. So let's go into the ports, a little closer up on the ports. Um, so on the tablet itself, you'll see that the docking um, ports are covered by um, doors with hinges and those are meant to protect from water and dust and that helps add to the fully rugged nature of the unit. You can see the um, micro, S, uh, micro SD right here with the headphone jack, a USB 3.0 and uh, HDMI and that's all in that slot right here. You have your ethernet and um, your ethernet port right there. Uh, with these doors, you just slide it up, it unlocks it, and they flip up. And so uh, this has pretty much your standard buttons. This has your locking hinge. I'm sorry, I'm getting out of frame here. You have your locking mechanism for the hinge. Oh, I'm sorry, the just the locking mechanism, over speaking. You have a charging port here, and you also have another charging port on the keyboard. So it can charge as a just a tablet. You can hook that up to your AC or DC chargers and you can just hook it up to the tablet and charge it through there. Or you can dock it with the keyboard and have the charger run into the keyboard and it could charge the battery in there as well. The reason there is a charger on the tablet and a charger on the keyboard is because like I said in a previous video, you can have a battery on the tablet and a battery in the keyboard for added battery life. And so you could be charging both at the same time, charging one or the other. If one of them is hooked up, if you have the um, keyboard hooked up, that will be charging both of them. So uh, that pretty much goes into the uh, ports on the tablet itself. But let me go into this docking strip a little more at length. You can see that this is where it docks. It has two hinges that slide into these ports right here. And it will dock firmly with the keyboard. Now you do it by putting in the right corner first and pressing down, and you're gonna really have to press down um, hard because they've made this extremely sturdy, and now it's IP65, you know, that, that's a firm seal around that base. Uh, they had some customer reviews, uh, negative customer reviews about the G1 docking with the iKey keyboard, which we showed before, and just that not being a firm seat in there and kind of jostling around in there, they really worked to make sure that this docking strip holds that tablet in place, locks in, I can lock it, 
and close it up. It has a lock on the front. And now that's firmly locked. Um, as far as the keyboard functionality, ports, whatever, again, you have that DC charger right there, uh, SDXC, HDMI, and like I said, it has three USB slots in the um, keyboard, one in the tablet by standard. You can have another optional USB in there for a total of five total USB slots if you add the optional one. So pretty much you see all these ports, they all have the same kind of door covers that you can open up. And that's just made to just have extra protection around all the ports so that they're sealed. Uh, the keyboard also has a docking strip on the bottom and that's to dock to the uh, vehicle dock or a desktop dock. Antenna pass through right there and that would be a dual pass through. Um, and that's to increase connectivity between the uh, 4G LTE and or GPS unit you have in there. And more ports right here. Again, USB, Ethernet, and uh, I believe that's VGA. So that wraps up all the ports and the docking functionality of the Panasonic Toughbook 20. And we'll go into a little more depth about the concealed button in our next video. Thank you, and give us a call if you have any questions about this. Again, this is Aaron with TheRuggedStore.com. Looking forward to hearing from you. Bye-bye.